Hi, we're back. We're at the 2023 Florida Chamber Annual Insurance Summit in Disney World, Orlando, Florida. And who am I speaking with? I'm Shannon Shawcross. I'm the head of client services from Pinpoint Predictive. And what does Pinpoint Predictive do? So Pinpoint Predictive is a predictive modeling company. We do risk predictions for the insurance industry. And it's not cat predictions, it's not cat modeling, but what we're really looking at is the individual behaviors of a person. Understanding that someone's behavioral characteristics has a bearing on if they're gonna file a claim, mm -hmm. if they're gonna be involved in litigation, if they're gonna cancel early. And it's kind of a premise that is similar to the fact that credit is used in insurance. So with credit, the, the understanding there is you're a good insurance risk if you have a high insurance-based credit score. Similar premise for us that we're looking at the behaviors of an individual, but our process does not use credit at all. Mm -hmm. And our predictions are available at the earliest possible point. So really before someone even fills out an application, you just have their name and address, don't know anything else about them. You can pull a prediction to understand their risk propensity. Okay, so you don't use credit score. Correct. Okay, so that's unique. How is that possible? Magic. Magic. We're, we're, in, Disney, we're in Disney World. Yep, it's it's very fitting. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, so the way that that's possible is we're using a different data source. And it's a data source that usually is not used by the insurance industry. It's behavioral economics data. And when you have enough of this type of data, and I'm talking about trillions of data points, mm -hmm. and we have this on 250 million U.S. adults, uh, there are a lot of things that you can do when you would apply deep learning, machine learning in the modeling process. And that's what we do. Yeah, so that's amazing. So what would be, I'm assuming social media, what, what would be? No, so no social media. And the reason for that is when you do social media scraping, there is a potential that you're adding bias into the modeling okay. process. And we have put in some pretty tight controls to make sure that we're not doing that, especially in light of some of the you know, the NAIC had just released a bulletin on insurance companies' use of artificial intelligence. We want to control for bias. So we're using data that is behavioral economics data. So it's essentially what people are doing on screens, what media they're consuming, what are they buying. Mm -hmm. Again, they're, they're data points that literally have nothing to do with what we're predicting. But when you're able to develop this behavioral fingerprint of a person, yeah. In the model training process, we can find out, okay, so this behavioral fingerprint looks a lot like someone who ends up becoming a claim, or it looks a lot like someone who is gonna file three claims in the first policy yeah. period. But on the opposite side of that coin, and this is the part that is really important for carriers, you can also identify who do we know is gonna be profitable at that really early point. So that's very helpful to know because then you can understand when exactly you can quote and bind as quickly as possible. Yeah. So it's, it's it's that fast. So we're talking potentially seconds to sub seconds sub seconds to yeah. turn information around. Yes, yes. So we're essentially the integration is an API integration. So wherever a prediction is pulled, name and address, you get a prediction. Amazing. So why Florida? Why, why, Florida? Well, why are you here? <laughs> Good question. Because of the magic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I think I already know why Florida, because you're predicting claims. But yeah. let's uh, let's specifically talk about like why Florida. Yes. So a couple things about the Florida market are really important to our clients. Uh, number one, the citizens depopulation has been something that's been a really hot topic. It's a great opportunity for carriers here. But at the same time, the onus is on the carrier to really understand the nature of risk as they are evaluating any new book of business to acquire. It doesn't even have to be related to that particular thing, but we are providing a prospective view of risk. It's not looking back, it's looking forward, and it works really well. The other one that we've had a lot of success with in Florida is a litigation prediction. Yeah. Because litigation, I, I know that reforms passed last December, and those have been really great, but this has just been a constant issue for years and years and years in insurance where 
there are loopholes mm -hmm. in the auto industry and the homeowners industry. And as soon as those loopholes are found, they turn into enormous problems for carriers. So it's really helpful to be able to understand what's the likelihood that this policyholder is going to respond to a door knocker. That's actually something that you can predict. Yeah, yeah. And, and Stephen Weinstein, who's Bermuda, Bermudian reinsurance expert, he was interviewed by AM Best recently, and he was going, he was talking about how this has been a problem forever yes. in Florida. He's like, first it was, uh, you know, mold is gold, right? <laughs> yeah. And then sink, sinkhole problems. Yep. Like, yep. so. I was there for that. <laughs> and so, like, that's really interesting because I think, and when I think when most, most folks think of citizens takeout, they think of cat modeling mm -hmm. and trying to optimize the portfolio. Yes. But this is like an additional layer on top around yes. like, okay, um, the problems that we've had in the last few years are not really cat oriented, they're litigation oriented. Yes. And you and you and that's not gonna probably go away even with the reforms. They'll just find some other entrance. Exactly. It's about that people part of the risk. And especially in Florida, that people part of the risk can turn into very high dollar claims yeah. if you aren't able to get your arms around it. Yeah. So personal lines, commercial lines? So we're doing business in both personal lines and commercial lines. Personal lines, primarily auto and homeowners insurance. For commercial lines, we do predictions for companies that have less than 20 employees because we found that using this process, there's a very strong signal with the business owner. So the behaviors of a business owner actually do play out in their loss experience and their loss trend. So commercial lines, we're operating there as well, workers' comp. Okay. So I'll tag, uh, I'll tag Pinpoint and yourself on this. How, how should people get in touch with Pinpoint or, or yourself? They, they can reach out to me. I'm happy to talk with them. We have an awesome sales team too. We have information on our website as well. So really happy to have any discussions. We work with carriers every single day on developing strategies like this that help them to optimize all of their processes. Okay, so we, we are in Disney World. So who's your favorite Disney character? <laughs> oh boy, this is not something that I We can include Pixar. For. You know, this, you're gonna laugh, but I have to say The Little Mermaid, and this is a throwback to when that movie first came out, my younger sister, it was her favorite movie. And my fun fact is I know every single line to that movie, every single song that's in that movie, because she probably watched it at least 200 times when I was growing up. Yeah, so old, <laughs> old school <laughs> yep. here. So pinpo Pinpoint Predicted is using new technology, but it's being sold by old school. Yep, yep. So, okay. Shannon, thank you. <laughs> thank you.